Well, now to an alarming statistic as we deal with a measles outbreak across the U.S. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, cases of the highly infectious virus have already exceeded the total number of cases for all of 2023. The agency has advised everyone who is unvaccinated to stay up to date on their vaccinations. And we have Dr. Nidhi Kumar on call to tell us more about the outbreak and how to protect yourself. First off, uh, good morning, Dr. Kumar. Good morning. Good to have you. Well, we have been dealing with, and I have dealt with it as well, we had flu, we had COVID, we have RSV, and now we are dealing with measles. So how big of an issue is this, and what are the symptoms? I mean, this is a pretty big issue. We eradicated measles in the United States in 2000. Now, it is incredibly contagious. It's mm. airborne. It can stay in the room on surfaces in the air for hours after an infected person has left the room. There is no treatment because it's a virus, so it has to run its course. One out of five people end up in the hospital. What are the symptoms? High fever, that measles, rash, uh, congestion, runny nose, cough, sore throat. But also there can be some very severe um, complications from measles like pneumonia, encephalitis, and it really wreaks havoc on the immune system. For months after having measles, people can be more susceptible to get other viruses or bacterial infections. And talking about those severe cases, who would be at highest risk, I guess, for any infection, but also those severe cases? Yeah, well, really, it's unvaccinated people. So it's so important to get vaccinated. And then after that are people who are immunocompromised or elderly people whose natural immunity is waning. Now, an unvaccinated person, 9 out of 10 unvaccinated people will contract measles if they are exposed to someone who is infected. And across the U.S., we have community. Communities. We have pockets of people that just don't get vaccinated. So this is where the CDC's recommendation is coming from. And speaking of those people who don't get vaccinated or maybe they delay vaccinations for young children due to concerns about autism, is this actually a valid concern? Well, this has been studied extensively, multiple studies, hundreds of thousands of children, and they have found no connection between these vaccines mm -hmm. and the development of autism, does not increase your risk of autism, does not trigger autism. And then in these studies, they have broken children out into subgroups to see, well, are kids at higher risk of perhaps they have a sibling that has autism and they have found no connection. Okay, very important information for very parents important. to hear. Um, and speaking of parents, what are the signs to look out for if your child is unvaccinated and you've got concerns that they may have been exposed? Right, so, okay, most important, travel history and vaccination history. If you come back from a trip and your child is sick, it is important to share that with your healthcare provider looking for a fever, a rash, upper respiratory symptoms. But it's really important to raise this concern with your healthcare provider because for many healthcare providers, present company included, we haven't seen measles. Again, it was eradicated. So it's not really on our radar. So it's important to speak up and you know include those important parts to your medical history. Just one more thing to watch out for with yeah. everything going on this season. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us, Dr. Kumar. And remember, you can see Dr. Nidhi Kumar's reports every Monday. That's at 7.15 right here on CBS News New York.